Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over your gaming portal uh, site, and uh, I'm going to show you um, how it works and uh, the things that uh, you will need to do um, to make the site yours and um, um, get it all set up for you. Um, this is a great site. It's actually um, um, took a quite a while to make. Um, and um, it has tons of features and, and um, great um, options for your visitors um, and has a real potential to make um, good money. Uh, now, before I start on this, I want to talk uh, just real quick. Um, and this is something I noticed this morning. Um, as you know, when I make a, a new site for uh, um, for release, I uh, when you're whenever you're making the widgets, um, Amazon widgets, um, I have to use a uh, a uh, um, a verify or a, or a verified uh, Amazon ID um, or an active Amazon ID, and so I use my demo um, ID to make the widgets because um, they won't show if you don't have an active or or a, a you know, a verified Amazon ID. Okay, um, so and what's happening is, um, and uh, guys out there and, and, and ladies, um, think you're making money um, because I'm seeing sales in that um, demo account, and um, and and I know they're not mine because I don't use that on that uh, demo ID on my account. So. Or on my production site, so um, you guys are making money. So I really urge you to change. Um, make sure that you have your ID in every possible spot, um, because um, somebody whoever somebody has a scooter site up and they've made um, five or six sales um, just yesterday. And uh, and then somebody that may have a uh, you know a home improvement site um, made um, uh, a three really big sales. So you're making money, uh, and and it really hurt, you know it, it it I struggle with it because I want you guys to make money, and you are making money, um, but you don't have your IDs in. So okay, we're gonna move on now. Um, an, an, another uh, just another tidbit about this: um, most of your sales. Are coming from two locations, and um, that being your widgets, in your carousel, and your uh, slideshow widgets. These are making sales. Now, this is a different widget, um, but the, uh, those are making sales. Okay, okay. So let's just go on to your site. Now, I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, we're going to start start by talking about your pages. Okay, let me move this up so you can see. Your pages are right up here at the top. And uh, we're going to cover the contact and about page. Okay. Um, if you click on the contact page, now some of this stuff I've already gone over in other videos, so you're probably going to know how to do. Um, you're probably going to know how to do most of everything here. Okay. Um, your contact page needs to, it's going to need to be updated. That's your videos. Uh, your com your contact page is going to uh, need to be updated. You're going to get this error message. So let's go in and take a look at that. Um, inside your site, bring this back down. If you go under plugins, F FS contact form, okay, just scroll down a little ways, and you're going to see this where the error just pops up, okay. Um, what you're going to need to do is put a put your email or your admin email in this location. Put it there, and then you're going to scroll down just a little bit, and then click on Update Options. And you'll scroll down, and you see the error is gone, and that'll take care of your uh, contact page. Now your about page um, is a page that you're going to need to update, and I and I do recommend updating it and making a good about page. You'll be surprised how many clicks you're going to get on your about page. Um, this about page is going to bring uh, personality uh, to your site, um, which people love to see, and they want to be able to connect with the person that has this site. 
So you want to make sure and fill out your about page and um, you can do that by going over to pages and then uh, just clicking on pages actually and it's going to take you to your pages and you can update the about page, the privacy and site map you don't need to worry about um, but you can just click on about to go in and edit it okay and uh, so uh, most of you at this point know how to do that okay so um, your logo um, you can change your logo um, if you like and if you want to change your logo you're going to go under appearance header and this is showing the current logo if you want to upload your own logo um, do not pay attention to that okay um, your logo is obviously going to need to be about this size and the size of this is 490 by uh, 80 I believe or 490 by 90 um, but you want to make sure it's um, close to this size um, and that's for your logo and you can upload it here here and it will put your logo in. Now, uh, let's go ahead and talk about um, categories. These are all of your categories that you have. And I'm going to show you where your categories are located. Categories are located under Post. You can click on Categories. You'll see all of your categories. Now, this is the area that you can edit um, or change any of the categories. I, I don't recommend um, changing any of these because that's where your uh, content is uh, posted into. So, just uh, if you want to add a category, you can do that here. And, uh, and this is under post categories. Now, if you want to change um, um, any of your menu, the way your menu shows up, this is the category menu. And so if we look under appearance in menus, okay, this is your categories menu, okay, you also have a pages menu, which is this up at top, but this is your category menu. Now you can rearrange these, you can, um, if you were to uh, uh, move this over, that PlayStation 3 would now become a, a sub-menu item of Wii, but you don't want to do that, okay? But this is where you can uh, move around and um, work with your menu. When you move something here, it affects this menu, okay? Now let's take a look at your daily deals um, uh, category. This is a, a, a special category. Um, so if you click on daily deals, Keep in mind this video is on autoplay, so it's going to pop up every time we uh, refresh a page. Now, the daily deals um, is supposed to uh, bring up um, a, a complete page, and I'm not sure why, why it's not right now, um, but we'll come back to it. Um, so let's go back to uh, home. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, we'll scroll down and take a look at your whole site um, here in just a minute. Um, but now we're going to drop down to this widget. Okay, this is actually called a slideshow widget also. This is also a slide, slideshow widget, but they're uh, um, different um, sizes and shapes. Um, so this is um, uh, the first widget. And uh, let me show you where that is located. If you go to uh, under appearance, if you go to widgets, what you're going to do is look for home top. And you're going to click this little uh, carrot. Okay, that widget is this first text widget. Okay, so this is right here under text okay 
Now, this is the area. Let me scoot the screen over just a little bit so you can see. Um, this is the area where you're going to go through and change your IDs. Now, again, um, like I've said before, when you're changing your ID, um, it, sometimes it breaks the widget. And what I mean, mean by changing your ID is going through here and looking for only the best, only the best 23 slash 20. And there's three instances you will need to um, change. Um, and what you do is just um, put your ID right here and make sure there's no spaces, extra spaces left. But uh, you're going to change this to your ID. Now that sometimes will break the widget. And a lot of times it does. Okay. So if it does, what we're going to need to do is go to our Amazon Associates account and get a new widget code. So I'm going to show you how to do that just real quick. Okay, so we're going to log into our Amazon Associates account, and we're going to click on, this is the uh, demo account that I used to build the size. If we click on widgets, and what we're going to do is come down to slideshow. And you're just going to search for uh, products. We'll just put PS3 um, video games. You're going to define what um, products go into this widget. <clears throat> Need to click go. Okay. So um, just for this example, I'm just going to um, randomly go through here and put some uh, uh, products into the widget. And then you're going to click on Next Step. Okay. Now, um, this widget is a scrolling widget, and it's a landscape, and it's 600 by 200. It's white, if you click on customize, it's also transparent. You can change the border color or background color, um, leave the background white, and again this is totally up to you. Okay, but then what you want, the main thing is, is you want it scrolling, landscape, 600 by 200, and then you're going to click on Add to My Web Page, and you're going to copy this code, go back to your site in your widgets area, and paste that over this code, and then just click on Save, okay, and that'll take care of that widget. Now, while we're in our widgets, we're gonna, I'm going to tell you how to take care of the, or how to manage your videos. This is um, videos in their game trailers. Okay, so if you look in your primary sidebar, it is the first widget, and if you open that up, we have the name. Make sure you keep it at 250 um, by 200. Here you can turn autoplay on or off, and that just means when the page is loaded that it automatically plays. Um, if you want to add videos, all you need is the um, video ID, and this is everything after the equal sign, okay, whenever you copy a um, video link from YouTube. And you can put them in here. You can put up to five. And then you would just save. Scoot the screen over a little bit for you. Okay, so now let's talk about this widget. It is again a slideshow widget. 
and it is right here under um, text PS3 console bun console bundles. Okay, it is also a slideshow widget, but um, it's a little bit different. So if we go back and we can close this out, let's see if we can go back to our previous step. So let's go, what you would do is go to widgets, go down to slideshow, and again do the uh, search. Now there of course I put product bundles, or console bundles. Again, you're going to select the products you want to include. You can select as many as you want. Click on Next Step. Now, this widget, okay, is a gallery, 250 by 250. You can choose whatever transition you want. I choose Bounce. You can customize it, and then you just click on Add to My Web Page. Again, you're going to copy this code. Just click the Copy button, copy the code. Come back to your widgets. Paste it over this code. Click on Save, and that will take care of that widget. Okay, so now let's take a look at these widgets right here, these advertisements. Okay, these are put here by an Amazon plugin. So if you come over to, and what you're looking for now is uh, a plugin called Banners On. Find it real quick. Okay, it's right up here. So if you click on banners on, here are the banners that are um, already made. Okay, so what you need to do is just go into settings. Come down to Amazon credentials and put in your own Amazon information right here. And then just come down and click on save. And that'll take care of this area, this area, and this area, and this area. Okay. So that will bring us down to this widget, which is an Amazon Carousel widget. And again, um, th let me show you where this is at. So if we go back to – you didn't get to see that banners on. Banners on is right here, and here's settings, which is this page. Okay. So let's go back to your widgets. This is an Amazon Carousel widget, and it is located where, if you look at home bottom, it is this first text area. And again, if you change your ID and put it in place of only the best 23 slash 20, if it breaks the widget, again, you'll need to go back to Amazon and create a new Amazon Carousel widget, which is right here. Just create the new widget, grab the code, and paste it over this code right there, and click on Save.
This is an Amazon banner. And I'll show you where that's at. Under primary sidebar. Here's your banners on banners that we talked about just a second ago. Now, this text uh, widget is this banner. So what you want to do is if you change this ID and it breaks the banner widget, again, go back to your Amazon Associates account, go to links and banners, banner links. down and you can select the category in this case it would be video games this particular banner is 160 by 600 okay so you would click on highlight copy that to your clipboard come back and paste it over this. Click on save. Okay. Let's go down and take a look. This is another Amazon banner. Let me show you where that's at. If you look under home bottom, this text widget is this banner, and it's a 486 by 60 banner. And uh, again, if you need to, get it from your Amazon Associates account, paste it over this. If changing your ID here breaks the code or breaks the, uh, and the ad, then click on save. Okay. Now below that, you'll see um, this area. This area is put in by uh, a widget. And these can be updated. And it is right here. Okay, that's the widget. Now let's take a look at the plugin that puts this here. Okay, it's inserted with Azon Pro Shopping List. You want to go to Options. Put in your Amazon information and click on Submit. And the rest of um, everything else that's here um, is the same as the other sites. Um, so. Um, simply make sure you go into WP Robot and update the options with your Amazon ID and information. Okay, it's right here in options. You can take a look at the campaigns that are running currently. Okay, and inserting your ID, you want to make sure and go to tools and do the search and replace. Okay, you're going to do uh, my search and replace for your ID slash 20. Then you're going to do a replace with your Amazon ID. You're going to click on Go. Then you're going to scroll down. Click All so it highlights all the uh, boxes and do another um, search for your ID slash 20 and replace with your own Amazon ID. Okay, and that'll take care of it. So that's a quick run through of your new um, site, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I enjoyed making it, and I uh, hope it makes you some money. And uh, I, I really um, think it will. So uh, make sure and get it up, and uh, we'll see you um, the next time.